as we get closer and closer to the summer of 2021, we're more than likely to get more and more information on whatever GTA Online content is coming out. And today we got another slight hint as to what this year's summer update will be. So what's up everyone, welcome back to another GTA Online video. About a week ago I made a video and I mentioned in that video that according to people behind the scenes, according to GTA Online leakers, there was going to be a little small content patch in the near future and this would probably involve just some new missions or some new jobs and that would basically be it. But it appears that might not actually be the only thing we get in this summer update. So this is coming from, of course, one of the known GTA leakers, Fun MW2. He put this on the GTA forums in response to someone saying that there's going to be a very small scale DLC coming out this summer. He said, I won't really consider it a DLC. And it's also not something that he's just guessing. It's something that he's actually heard from his sources. He continues by saying that this update he's mentioning is the type of content that we usually receive without an actual new downloadable update. So again, things like missions or jobs. But he says, however, there was some interesting activity going on within the Steam database where the pattern of the QA Beta 2 updates has reverted to similar times where a new DLC was being developed, aka automated updates each day. Therefore, he says he wonders if the new content we will receive has actually been integrated with a small update. And if so, the development of that update seemingly started on the 25th of March, so not too far ago, basically a month and a day from today. So he says, don't expect a whole bunch. It's either this or Rockstar are just trolling us by uh, putting this out there. Now explaining this in terms that just anyone can understand, the Steam database he talks about is something, again, I've mentioned this many times before. We check this to see what's going on behind the scenes because it's a good look at what Rockstar developers are actually working on. And the part where he talks about updates being in a certain pattern, just a little example of this, and you can go check this out on the Steam database website if you want to yourself, but Pay attention to the top right, the times that each one of these depots were changed every day. Pretty much they were all around 2200 or 2300 UTC, which is roughly like 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if this is taking place in at Rockstar New York's studio, like Dev Studio, that puts it about in line for when like a work day would end about 6 to 7 p.m. It's maybe a little bit later than most, but for game development, maybe that's a normal time. And this happens pretty much every day. I mean, there are some days where it's not, but for the most part, maybe like 90% of the days, they all end around this similar time. And this was the case before the Kyle Perico update, I believe. And what I think is causing this is because maybe people are still working from home. You do your work and then at the end of the day, it ships and they implement it to like the new uh, branch, I guess. And they just keep doing this over and over again, of course, until the DLC is complete. And they would do it every day so they could test it and figure out if they needed to change anything. But basically what Fun was saying was that this stuff happens usually before somewhat big DLCs. Now, given the fact that this did just start on March 25th, you probably shouldn't be expecting a, a giant DLC for this summer. I think what's more than likely to happen is we get something like that January 2015 DLC we got five years or six years ago by now, where it was literally just the two Benny's vehicles. Although this time it sounds like it'll be in addition to some new jobs, some new missions, and maybe some other little events that uh, they could add. So of course this is maybe underwhelming if you're we're hoping for a, a giant summer DLC. I mean, it's still not out of the question that Rockstar put that out, but it does seem like more than likely we're gonna have a, a small filler update this summer just because of the expanded and enhanced edition releasing sometime in the second half of 2021. It's possible that Rockstar are saving the big DLCs for once that 
comes out that game comes out because then of course maybe a lot more people will come back to gta online because it's a, a new iteration of the game and hopefully some new content and some new features as well so i guess yeah be on the lookout probably maybe july june is when you might be expecting this little small update but it probably at most will only have a couple of supercars a couple of sports cars you know a couple of cars that we can customize of course and then some new missions some new jobs maybe some new races rockstar like to throw races in these little small filler updates so of course that's possible as well but it does seem like that is the case that's what's going to happen this summer of course like i always mention if i find out any more information on any of this stuff i'll let you guys know so hit that subscribe button if you are not already but yeah let me know in the comments actually if you know this ends up being the case what sort of vehicles would you want to see i mean i'm not opposed to getting some new vehicles in a little small update i've always said rockstar should do that in between the big updates just to make it feel like there's not that long of a gap and you wouldn't think making some new vehicles would be that hard to do but i'm curious what kind of vehicles would you want would you want some new supercars some new sports cars maybe some new off-road vehicles maybe a new plane i don't know for me i think for sure benny's vehicles you can't ever go wrong with them i just love customizing cars so having some more benny's vehicles would be awesome and also for like the jobs if they do add some more jobs i really really hope that they are on par with the yacht missions or at least that final yacht mission they released however many you know months ago that was i think that was maybe before the casino update or the kyle perico update i just really enjoyed that final mission having the waves like the weather be all crazy and having just like the the waves of actual player or people coming after you it was a very very nice change from the typical jobs and missions they put normally in the game so i really do hope they put some more stuff in like that but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for watching hopefully if this dlc does come out within the next month or two maybe rockstar give us a little tease at it although it is possible they could be waiting until e3 which is i think the first or second week of june but we're not too far away from there anyway so i guess we'll just have to wait and see but anyway thank you guys for watching please drop a like if you did enjoy again subscribe if you are new around here and as always i will see you guys in the next one